In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use the menu bar in Photoshop. We will be focusing on what the menu bar is and what tools does it consist of in Photoshop. The application bar is the horizontal strip present at the top in this software. This bar consists of some options that come in handy. Starting from the left is the launch bridge button, the mini bridge button, an option for showing or hiding the grids, guides, and the rulers. There is this option for zooming in or out with an option of 25, 50, 100, and 200 percent. You can easily enter any percentage in that and Photoshop will zoom that much for you. Then there is the Arrange Documents button, which comes in handy when you have more than one document opened up in Photoshop and are working on them side by side. You can view them together horizontally, vertically, or whichever way you want to. The last button is the Screen Mode button. It has three options. The default is the standard screen mode. The other is the full screen mode with menu bar and what this does is that it puts the image behind the panels to give you the maximum space to work on the image. The last mode is of the full screen mode in which there are no menu bars and the panels are also hidden. They can be accessed on the sides of the screen or revealed by pressing the tab key. While in full screen mode, you can return to the standard mode by either pressing F or hitting the escape button.